Let me tell you about my Jesus. Let me tell you. Let me testify about my Lord. 22 years ago, I woke up in my apartment half naked, having drunk myself almost to death. I noticed that I was cold and I felt something on my face. What was I lying in? I stumbled to my feet and I went to the mirror and I turned on the light and this very distinguished, eloquent preacher, lost and without Jesus, had slept the entire night in his own vomit. Let me tell you about my Jesus. He has saved me when I was such a wretch you would not have wanted to run me down with your car. But my Jesus, he bought me with his blood. And my Jesus, he came to me and my Jesus took away my sin and my Jesus took away my shame. Oh, hail the power of Jesus' name. Let angels prostrate fall, bring forth the royal diadem and crown him Lord of all. That's my Jesus. And I glory in my weakness and I glory, yea, even in my sin, where did those stars go today? Have you ever asked yourself that question? Where did the stars go this morning? Did someone put them in their pocket and take them to another place? The stars were there, but there was so much light. They could not be seen. But I walked out. The pastor picked me up on the side of the road. I was outside looking at those stars. And I could only see those stars because of all the blackness around them. Sometimes young men will ask me, Brother Paul, what's the secret? How is it that you preach the way you do? How is it, Brother Paul, that you talk about things like that? How is it that we see the power of God? What's your secret, Brother Paul? He found me in a pool of vomit. That's my secret. That there are not many wise or noble. I am the chiefest of all sinners. I was the lowest of the low. And that's what Jesus does. That's my secret. I had nothing. That's my secret. And you were probably much prettier than me on the outside, but I can assure you, you were not any prettier than me on the inside. They say to me, they say, how do you pray like that? How do you preach like that? I mean, what, what, what did you learn in your devotional time? No, you don't understand. He saved me. He saved me. Where's that great motivation? Did you get it from some verse you read? You don't understand. He saved me from what I was. There's no key except I was the worst in the pack. He saved me. What else needs to be done to motivate me? What else needs to be done? Is it salvation enough?